we are driving down into Silverton. You can tell it's May in Colorado because it's still snowing. What? But if you get away with it, with like driving one of these, you know, driving an old Geo Metro off the side of one of these roads with a GoPro camera mounted in it so you can see what it'd be like. And then after it hits the bottom, we'll nail it with some Tannerite. Silverton, Colorado. Up above almost 10,000 feet there. Well, I met you at the blood bank. We were looking at the bank. Wondering if any other color matched any of the names we knew on the tapes. You said, see, look at that's yours. Stacked on top with your brothers. See how they resent. So we're up here at Silverton, Colorado at Montagna's Rum Distillery and I'm here with Belina and she's going to take us through the distillation process of their high altitude rum. Alright, well first we begin with Hawaiian cane sugar and we bring that in and then we use our fresh mountain spring water and it has to be about 83 to 90 degrees before we can start our fermentation. And within that fermentation, then we put in the warm water, the Hawaiian cane sugar, yeast, and nutrients. And that sits for about five days, five to six days. And then when it's ready, we pump it down into the still, which we call Bella. So this is a fermentation happens upstairs. And then it comes downstairs into... Into Bella. So this is a handmade still from Portugal. It's an artisan still. So there's a lot of stills out there now that have, they're called column stills, and most of the process is done by the still, but with an artisan still, we do everything. And then we use our propane, and we heat her up. This? <laughs> with is that, that this is for? That's Fred. Oh, Fred. <laughs> Fred and Bella. And you've got also Bob? Yes, we'll talk about Bob later. Okay. Don't rush the process. All right. <laughs> So we heat it up and alcohol and water separate. So when it starts boiling, the alcohol rises into what's called the bell. And we get about a hundred different types of alcohol that is produced from our single wash. So what happens is it comes out into the swan's neck. So out of Bella, it comes out of the swan's neck and into... This is called the condenser. It doesn't and have a name. Um, condenser? <laughs> Gosh, we'll have to work on that one. Uh, it's filled with cold water, so the temperature of the alcohol that's coming out is usually about 90 degrees, um, and it goes through this condenser. There's a coil inside, and it gets pushed through the coil out into our parent spout. So from there, we get three different types of rum. We get heads, hearts, and tails. Uh, the first is heads, and it has a flavor kind of like burnt butter, which we don't want. And after about three and a half gallons of heads, we hit a transition into hearts. And that's the beauty of an artisan still, is the transitions can be the most flavorful, which you can't get in a column still. Um, so we measure out our transitions, and we get to extract the flavors that we enjoy. And we get it roughly about ten gallons of hearts. And hearts is what we produce into rum. So we're up here in the aging room with Delina again, and she's going to talk about the barrels up here and what goes on in this room. Okay, well, we use Stranahan barrels as well as Woodford Reserve barrels. Uh, they get shipped to us and they're in perfect condition for us to put our rum in it. So once we get 50 gallons of our rum, the hearts, then we put them into the barrel, uh, typically for about six weeks. Great. So one of the things that we hear all the time is Silverton making rum, and you know, I hear here that the altitude has something to make it ideal for making rum. That's right. Actually, the temperature changes and the altitude push the um, rum in and out of the pores of the barrel much quicker. So we don't have to barrel age our rum as long as other places do. We get a really smooth, wonderful flavor in a shorter amount of time. That's great. So you can push out more production. That's right. The same amount of time. So after touring the aging room, naturally it brings us downstairs to the bar. 
do you do all your labeling and bottling in house? We do. You also, I hear, make all your drinks authentic? We do, yes. We use all of our rum and we make fancy cocktails so that people can actually enjoy rum drinks. Awesome Go on product. to montanidistillers.com and you can find a local liquor, liquor store near you or a distributor that you can purchase from online. Great. I think we should start trying some drinks. Thank you for a great tour. Thank you. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>